Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today to take a look at the latest mini computer from Minix. This is the J51C8 Max. And besides all the features that we are going to see, it has one that in my opinion will make this Windows 11 Pro computer a lot more versatile. Now it comes with, as I said, Windows 11 Pro activated, but in your case, if your computer is still not activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with a coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case you want to check that out, the link will be down below just next to the Minix J51 C. Max. Now, despite having Windows 11 Pro, as I said, it has one feature that will make this machine a lot more versatile, and I'm talking about Proxmox. Being able to use Proxmox, as we have seen in some examples, will let us manage our network, have some servers, multimedia, Home Assistant, and so on and so forth. So we will talk about that in just a few moments. Now, inside the package, we will find the Minix G51 C8 Max, an HDMI cable, a power adapter, and then the back plates to put behind a display if we want to put it behind our monitor. Now, in terms of connectivity, we have an HDMI 2.0, mini display port, two Ethernet 2.5 gigabit which are awesome. We also have a audio output, two USB 3.2 10 gigabit each, one USB 2.0 and one USB Type-C 3.2 10 gigabit. In terms of build quality and the design, it's probably one of the best that we have seen. It's not the first to being built of aluminium. We have seen at least the NGC one, but I do love the aluminium construction instead of the plastic. It makes it stronger and it makes it look better, but it also acts as a dissipator and to take out the heat that the computer generates. It doesn't generate a lot of the CPU as we have seen on other machines as well, but it will definitely help the SSD to cool down faster. It has a quad-core CPU, the Intel N5105 quad-core that we have seen in the past, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigs of storage with Windows 11 Pro. In terms of upgrades, we can do so and to do, we just need to remove these four rubber feet, remove the uh, screws that are right over here and we will have access to the um, M.2 SSD slot and also to the RAM slot. Now we can go up to two terabytes on the SSD and we can go up to 16 gigabytes on the RAM. I did use Sabrent SSD and RAM to exemplify but all the tests that we are about to see are made with the original components. Now, talking about the original components, the SSD right over here, 512 gigs is fast. I was able to get about 1,800 megabytes per second on writes and roughly 2,100 megabytes per second on reads. So a really fast machine. And we do notice that on boot time and when we open apps and so on and so forth. So if you're looking for a mini computer to use as a office productivity machine, this might be a good option. In terms of Wi-Fi, I was getting roughly 290 megabits per second downloads and 127 megabits per second on upload, which were speeds that I was expecting a little bit more, but I'm really happy to have two Ethernet ports with 2.5 gigabit connection, which is actually the connection that I use most of the times on this kind of machine. Performance-wise, we have seen this CPU in several other machines, and it's more than capable for the office tasks. If we want to use Word, PowerPoint, Excel, even Photoshop or similar apps, we will be more than fine using it. We can also use it as entertaining machine with some games on our living room, like games of course because we don't have a dedicated GPU right over here and we can also use it as a multimedia center where we will be able to transcode up to 4k 10 bit movie without any issues. So we have seen several setups right over here on the channel with Windows machines like these and this is a great option for this kind of scenario. I can use it on the living room as a multimedia center or a multimedia player to be more precise and then I can use it on the office and just on the go. Nonetheless, besides all these usages, one of the things that we love here on the channel is 
Proxmox. And Proxmox is basically a virtualization platform that will allow us to put a lot of services right over here. Now, having the two 2.5 gig Ethernet ports right over here will open a lot of possibilities. One of which is to replace completely the management of our network. So we can replace basically the router that we have from our internet provider. So we install Proxmox and then we can use OPN Sense, PF Sense. I will try to leave links right over here so that we can check out and you will be able to see what possibilities we have. And besides that, to take advantage of all the hardware we will be able to use with Home Assistant, Jellyfin, Plex Server, MB Server, and a lot more services, taking full advantage of the hardware capability that we have right over here. So these are two complete different scenarios. In one hand, Office Entertainment on Windows 11 Pro. On the other hand, we can just install Proxmox and a lot of services, taking use of the two 2.5 Ethernet action. Now, it's not the fastest CPU in the world, as we have seen, but more than enough for all these tasks that we have seen. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed to know the newest Minix mini computer, J51C8 Max. Link will be down below. If that was the case, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.